looking back historically, you know, we've it's been in our DNA for since the beginning of time. The joy and the aliveness that comes with living in full connection with the natural world. Three years ago, I decided to give up technology, uh, mobile phones, laptops, electricity, uh, washing machines, and car, even radio uh, light bulbs. It was originally intended as a one-year um, experiment. The lifestyle has been so enjoyable. It's now what I consider doing for the rest of my life. I built the cabin um, mostly by hand. It took about six months. Things take a lot longer when you're living right tech. So I'm kind of having to retrain myself in some ways to live in a slower way, you know, to have more patience. I have to cycle for uh, 20 kilometers to the nearest lake, probably fish for three or four hours or until I catch fish and then cycle back. It's not always successful. You know, sometimes I may come away with three or four fish, um, sometimes none. I've yet to hear one person explain to me how you can produce a solar panel without the damage uh, to the natural world. If somebody convinces me that actually you can produce all this stuff in a way that feels harmonious to the rest of life, then I'd have no problem. But until that day, I'm going to continue living right tech. I'm actually a lot happier. Uh, my sense of aliveness is a lot stronger. My connection to the natural world is a lot stronger. Never felt healthier um, mentally and physically. When your life choices start to affect your personal relationships, um, in some way it's not the easiest thing in the world. It can make you doubt. Do I want to do this if, I, if I'm doing it alone? Um, maybe 5% of the time I feel like this is crazy and probably is crazy. But then I have to remember that actually life wasn't easy when I had a job and was working 50 to 60 hours a week paying for all the things that I didn't really feel were fulfilling me anyway. I lived without money for three years. Uh, since then I've set up a free hostel here called The Happy Pig that's based on, uh, on kind of gift values. People can come here, they can stay for uh, anywhere between a night and sometimes six months. I think what I'm trying to do here in some ways, kind of subconsciously, is recreate that sense of tribe. Um, and I, I feel a real longing for that in life, a real longing for a bunch of people who, whose back you have and who will cover your back, you know, in any situation. I work seven days a week, but it doesn't really feel like work because it's something I love to do. It's something I've chosen, it's something that uh, is really meaningful to me. I think not knowing whether work is work or whether work is play is probably a very healthy place to get to. I really believe in, in this as a way of life. The joy and the aliveness that comes with living in, in full connection with the natural world. My plan is to continue like this for the rest of my life. For me, it's a very rewarding life.